Some of us here I haven't filmed in so long and it's just been a crazy couple of weeks but I'm back on YouTube um yeah it's been like so long since I filmed Ramadan happened so I was really not filming then and then I don't know life just became so busy but I definitely am gonna go back to filming <laughs> Um, I think I wanted to try out like a couple of styles of videos and just see how I like them, see if I even like filming YouTube videos, so, which I do, I like, you know, the whole process of putting a video together and editing it and, you know, it's like, it's actually very, um, I don't know what's the word, it's like fulfilling to put something together yourself and, you know, have it come to life. Um, but just to give you guys some context, today it is memorial day weekend today's memorial day um and we're actually going to a protest in the bronx um i'm sure a lot of you know what's happening across the world in palestine and you know um i've just been feeling very guilty like i can't like go about regular life because there's just so much going on in the world but we are going to a protest. I actually went to one in DC just the other day. We came back and now we're gonna go to one in the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx, I've lived in the Bronx my whole life, so I'm so happy that they're doing one here. And um, I thought I would kind of take you guys with me. So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready real quick. Um, my skin is terrible as always. I haven't really been eating and sleeping well, so we're gonna try to look semi-presentable. And um, yeah, let's start. So just want to say it is Memorial Day and you know shout out to shout out and you know big respect to all the people who serve and protect us um, so that we can have our freedoms. Uh, I, I was not born in this country but I am an American citizen. I'm a proud American. Um, do I agree with all the American politics and stuff? No but you know I'm still this country has given us a lot so we have a lot to be grateful for. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with my makeup. I'm really just wanting to make sure that my skin looks good because it looks really bad right now. Um, I'm gonna conceal. And I'm actually, one thing I am gonna do is, um, in respect to everything that's happening in Palestine, there are, as we're finding out, a lot of brands that support Israel, and I preferably do not want to be doing that. So right now I'm just using whatever makeup I have, but I will be going through my makeup and kind of going through products that, you know, don't support the Palestinian cause. So just a little concealer under my eyes. I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. So it's been a very interesting couple of weeks, um, you know, with all the things happening overseas, I have been very outspoken. I've been posting a lot about Palestine and honestly it's just opened up my eyes to a lot of things, a lot of people, um, a lot of like influencers that I follow. Um, you know, I completely get that a lot of people don't want to speak out for whatever reason, but the hypocrisy and the cowardice that I'm seeing is almost laughable um i saw so many and i don't want to call out like people specifically but like a lot of the people in the south asian community a lot of people that i follow it was just really disheartening to see that all these people stood up for you know the black lives matter movement and um everything that happened to george floyd like that was like exactly almost a year ago but people are very afraid to even say the word Palestine, which is really crazy to me. Um, yeah, I just I just don't appreciate the hypocrisy. I think if you're going to speak out about one cause, then I don't know, like what's what like what's holding people back from literally just saying that killing little children is wrong. Like I I just don't get it. Um, you know, I think a lot of, there's so many different aspects to what's going on and whatever, but for me, like the thing that hurts the most are, are like the little kids being killed. Um, Palestine and in Gaza specifically, there's like a little tiny piece of land in Palestine, which is from what I've read, um, is home to 2 million people. 
and half of those people are children and children are getting innocent children who have nothing to do with the politics are getting blown to pieces and people are scared to talk about it and to say anything about it i mean if you're a human i think it's, it's not very hard to say that killing innocent children is wrong and honestly it's been very like disheartening to see a lot of people that i look up to and that i follow not saying anything about it so you know i can only do so much i can say what i have to say i can speak up and bring awareness and um, i'm going to continue to do that and this is not about religion this is not about you know politics or whatever there are politics involved but i think it's just about humanity at the end of the day like you can stand up for people last year when george like when i saw the video of george floyd literally being murdered in broad daylight um it really affected me like i saw that and you know i started crying because i was like forget like yes of course it was racially there's a whole racial aspect to that whole thing right but if you are a human and you see another human being literally being murdered in broad daylight like how could you not be affected and yeah like i literally cried when i saw that video and i was so like moved by it and affected that i ended up like if you go on my instagram if you follow me you'll see that i actually drew a whole photo of george floyd because he deserves to be remembered as a dignified human being um not the way that he was killed and you know i spoke up then and i think it's just important to speak out against injustice wherever you see it in the world and a lot of people are just not speaking out now which is just crazy to me i don't know sorry i'm going off on a little rant but yeah um those are my feelings towards it i honestly have lost respect for a lot of people but what can you do this is the world we live in i understand like you know i understand people are scared or whatever but it's like if you look back in history and we look at like the holocaust and you look back and you think like how could we as humanity have let that happen well this is how because no one is speaking out um there's literally a genocide going on and yes there's things going on across the whole world but like i think this specifically there's a blatant genocide of people going on and you know people are scared to talk about it to even say the word palestine which is freaking crazy um but yeah i also don't you know the whole black lives matter thing i think a lot of people only posted about it because they thought it was trendy and palestine is not trendy and you know it's it's just really sad to see and then people saying like oh i don't want to talk about it because it affects my mental health like that's the lamest excuse in the book and that's i just don't have respect for you like you're you sound so freaking privileged and it's just gross like it's gross imagine living through it and you can't even speak up about it when you have like millions of followers um i definitely have unfollowed a lot of beauty influencers who have literally said nothing and um i shout out to um laiba badman said she made like a whole video about it and i think that was really brave and you know for someone like in her position she could easily get dropped by a lot of brands and she didn't care so she's definitely someone that i respect right, i'm just gonna fill in my brows um i might wear a hat or a kufia i hope i'm pronouncing that right i bought one from this company called pally roots which um supports palestine so if you're looking to support palestine in any way or give back that's a really good um website all of their you know if you buy something you're helping the palestinian cause i can link that below um but yeah it's just been crazy and now you know when it was first happening like all this started at the end of ramzan into eid and it was being spoken up about a lot but now you know it's pulling down a little bit um which we don't want you know obviously we want to keep the momentum going 
so I'm gonna continue to post about it I think it's important um, but yeah we also went to the march in DC which was really amazing they said about 12,000 people showed up um, I was there for the week anyway so it was kind of like perfect timing and it was really you know great to see people coming together and it was raining that day too and freezing cold like it's, it was like a week of summer and then winter um, but people came out and supported and you know it was peaceful um, a lot of people I get like really bad anxiety in crowds but um, you know knowing that it was for a good cause it definitely helped so that was fun it was right in front of the Lincoln Memorial and um, we walked towards the White House and also a little bit down to the Capitol so you know that was really really um, I don't want to say fun because fun is not the word to use for a protest but it was nice to see people you know coming together all sorts of people um, there were Pakistani flags there were Palestinian flags of course Bangladeshi flags and people of different colors and religions you know all coming together for a good cause I'm taking this brown sugar powder from Colourpop this shade chai I'm just gonna brush that all over my lid all right this is one of my favorite lippies this is from Neutrogena it's like it's called moisture stick um moisture smooth color stick it's in the shade 120 berry brown this is like one of my favorite lip products I use this like for every day or like you know even I just want like a nice pink brown color um it's really like moisturizing and the color is so pretty and I'm like weird about colors different colors on my lips so this is one that I like it's very subtle it looks kind of pink like too pink in the camera but it's more like mauve -y. all right I just did my eyeliner off camera and of course it was thin and then I messed it up and then now it's thick and whatever I just don't care I hate doing eyeliner I'm not good at it I feel like I used to be and then I just like lost touch whatever um I'm gonna just throw some mascara on and then I think I'm done <laughs> This Maybelline mascara is so good. Um, I always, every time I have like this mascara on, I get asked if I'm wearing false lashes, and my eyelashes grow down, so it really like lifts them. It does a good job of that. But again, I think Maybelline. I saw an Instagram post from Maybelline was one of the brands that supports or funds Israel like I don't really know how that works but I, I'm gonna research it and maybe I'll make a video about it because I do think it's important um, you know we buy from companies that who knows where that money is going so just doing my lashes I'm just gonna just comb my hair out really quick I haven't brushed my hair in so long <laughs> and it's really tingly. I'm gonna be putting footage from the DC or maybe I'll make that a different video, I don't know. But you know, I wanna remember and you know when I have kids eventually, God knows if I will. <laughs> But I want my kids and you know future generations to be inspired you know god I mean what like five people will see this video but who the fuck cares um it'll be there on my youtube and you know hopefully people will be inspired to speak out um yeah that's the least we can do it's like literally the bare minimum okay I'm wearing, I'm wearing this hat you ready hold on let me just 
Maybe I'll just wear this. Or you wear that one because yeah. I think that would be fun. And I'll wear that one. <laughs> My brother was saying that maybe the red in the Bronx is a little bit too much. I don't know. Trying to get your head popped off by somebody? I'm not gonna do shit. It goes better with your outfit. I'll take the other one. Alright, fine. I guess we'll do this. <laughs> Okay, we're on the way there with my brother. I'm just gonna represent, and um, I see people posting about it. It seems like a good turnout, so we'll see. Okay, we're on the way there.